What's up guys, Corvus here and welcome to episode 45 of my Paradox Grand Campaign in Crusader Kings 2. On the previous episode we managed to conquer the Duchy of Bears from the Umayyad dynasty. We didn't take the entire duchy I believe, yeah there's still this province here. We did get one of the subholdings, Bishopric, but apart from that we were out of luck. Now, we have 33 out of 30 vassal domain limit, so I think I'm going to give the county of Tron, Trent, 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 I'm going to go with, and I'm going to transfer it to this duke here. Where is it? There it is. Sorry for a second. There, you can have that. And we've also inherited Varden for one of our vassals, I think it's the Duke of Medina. We're going to transfer Genoa, you can have, um, what is it, Corsica. And let's actually just have a look at what other ones there is. There's the Chief of Legic, Hamburg, Bereg. This is this guy. And there's also Lechic, which is this guy. So we can transfer to you, the Legic guy, and then that should put us under the domain, didn't know? That was three, wasn't it? Corsica, Trent, and Corsica, Trent, and Lechic, or whatever it's called. That should have put us under. That's strange. Okay, Dukes, Dukes, Dukes. Actually, look at our direct vassals map mode. And Vandenberg is independent, or under me at least. We're going to give it to Pomerania, since he is of our dynasty. You can have Vandenberg. There you go. So now we are at our vassal limit, that's good. And I'm fine with him becoming a decently powerful vassal. So we are going to switch to hunting focus because we're getting old at this point, 56. We need a hunting dog, it gives us an extra one health. Plus we don't lose a health because we switch from family which gives plus one health to hunting which also gives plus one health. Uh, we have the prestige requirement, we just need 1400 more gold so let's get on with the game. How are we now over our vassal limit again? Why did it go down even further? Because we lost diplomacy, that's why. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> I hate vassal limit. In the new um, update, I'm not sure when it's coming out. It might already be out. But there's a new update coming out, and one of the new game rules is that... If we actually have a look at our game rules, one of the new game rules is that you can turn vassal limit and um, personal domain limit up to infinite. It's not a, it's not available yet, but that'll be very nice. I'd like to turn vassal limit up just slightly because I always seem to run out of vassal limit. Right, we need to find somewhere else we can transfer. I guess we're just gonna transfer Lubeck to, oh yeah, Lubeck to Mecklenburg. So transfer, you can have Lubeck, you may as well have Hamburg then. Because we've already split up the whole Steam Duchy, so may as well split it up even further. So we need a hunting dog please, quick as possible. Because I don't really want to die and lose all of my prestige. So I'm making 18 or so. A month but that isn't that much if you think about it all this 8700 prestige has came from invading people and there's not that many easy people to invade anymore so if we did die we've converted an Umayyad apparently if we did die ooh, I have a county of Middlesex we can't actually press that I forgot you had to pay money the white stag yes um, if we die now then we're gonna have to build up from, what's our dynasty prestige? 1600, so you get half of that I believe once you inherit. So I think my next guy would be on, was that 1600 or 1200? 1600, I think our next guy would be on about 800 prestige to start off. 
which had like 15 to 20 prestige a month, would take an exorbitant amount of time to reach 8,000 prestige again. We'd probably reach the money quota in 8,000 quicker. Maybe not. We only make 11 ducats a month. I mean, that's mainly because our revenue isn't fully reinforced. My daughter didn't do very well. She became an underhanded rogue. Let's get her married off to... Where's... How strong is Mel Frank here? Doesn't seem that strong. What about... The High Chief of Pomerania? Congratulations. We could try marrying off to um, the Duke of Genoa. Because they will give me money in exchange for... Like, they'll, they pay the dowry, which is really nice. Epic hunt it shall be. Yes. Thought that would disappear. Extort subjects. Uh, we get a courtier. Or, I mean, either way. Let's just hunt alone. Barcelona has prospered. Yes, hopefully next time we will catch our prey. Um, what's this? I'm not giving you Tarragona. Go away. The majority of people in Stetten have converted. Let's check who's next. It is going to be... What's this place? Volgast. So hopefully we can convert that pretty quickly. If we... Right, this Duke is my kinsman. Duke of Wessex. His son is 11, so it wouldn't be that bad if his son was to inherit. Could we kill him? We could, so let's start the plot. And then let's also get 200 gold. Yes, that's my plan. Anyone who does anything like that, if we can give you like a little gift. 83 is not a little gift. Um, little gift? 43 is not, 45 is not a little gift. You've got to just be like 15, yeah. We'll get you, and then that should be enough to kill him. Hopefully. So that's the plan. Anyone who gives us money in exchange for a favour, we are just going to kill. Uh, we need a new ambition, see the round prosper. I don't think we'll be going to war until after we form the Empire, so that shouldn't be a problem. And Wales looks like they've conquered Middlesex, which was one of my targets. Let's actually move you to there, since that's independent. Wales has actually solidified their position in England. They're looking pretty strong. I like that Northumbria still exists. You've got the Kingdom of Scotland, the Kingdom of Wales, and then the Duchy of Northumbria. Of course, Duchy of Northumbria famous for starting basically what became the Lord Broxon's um, invasion of England. Because they killed. Um, is it Ragnar Lord Brock? By throw him in, throwing him into a snake pit, I think it was. Or was it the Blood Eagle? It was one of the two. The Blood Eagle, of course, being where we have an illegitimate child. Um, we'll acknowledge him. Yes, let's acknowledge him, but we won't legitimize him. Yes, uh, the bloody gulp, of course, being where you rip someone's ribcage open and like, put it out beside their body to make it look like... These are all our dynasty members becoming Pope. This is crazy. Why did you become Pope? A pretty terrible character in terms of popery. You own a million holy relics though, and you've been carousing for a million different people. You also just. Um, but you don't have the just trait. Let's me actually just have a look at the College of Cardinals. Do we have any other family members here? Uh, no. I wish there was an easy way to check this. There's actually two empty spots. My guy had more than the previous character who popped up. Is this glitching? No, he is actually filling the spot. Good. Oh, that's crazy. 
because the Pope owns this land, all of his dukes are becoming the next cardinals. Looks like our guy is going to become the next bishop. The next cardinal, sorry. And my wife is pregnant once again. Age 58 I am. She is 49. I did change the pregnancy age cut off to 50 rather than 45. I just thought I'd put it in line with the old pic old person face. Because it seems to suit it. Um, 100 gold. It'll cut... No, we need to form the empire and then we can form the duchy. Because in, in a little bit of gold, we might actually be able to do it now. We can actually do it now. Oh, one of these must be true. Have a realm size of 180 or three kingdom tiles. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's much easier. I could have formed an empire ages ago. Okay, lose a thousand gold. We have formed the empire of Italy and we are really ugly, like pale pink color. At least it's not... Uh, at least it's easier to tell the difference between me and the Pope now, but it's a bit harder to tell the difference between me and Avaria. Why must everyone steal my colour? Anyway, we are going to... We have the Empire of Italy. Which is nice. Uh, should we keep it called Empire of Italy? We could name it, like, the Gaussian Empire. But, no, we'll keep it as the Empire of Italy for now. We're going to have a look at our laws. So, we have the same succession law... That's all the same. We could go to Imperial, but we're not going to. Uh, not for now, at least. We could go to Tribal Levy Advancement. Everything's the same, which is good. I mean, we may as well get more Tribal Levy. No point not going for that. We can get some more Commanders now because we've advanced in Empire. Well, if I advance from a kingdom to an empire, uh, Duke of Apulia, and it also, I believe, should have increased our vassal limit. It did by five. We have a new vassal, tribal vassal, or uh, not new vassal, but uh, you can have some money, and we can now form whatever we want. We have maxed out our retinue. We may be actually able to get more retinue. Yes. That did allow us to get more revenue. I'm going to expel the Jews, I think. It does lower my diplomacy slightly, but gets us a lot of gold. Let's do it. Shall go to the crown. Emirate of Fez, we are going to form a gift to this guy. Duchy of Fez. Congrats. And now we are going to... What was I just about to do? There's something I was just about to do. We only have 10 diplomacy now. Um, we could improve some tech. We'll have a look at that in a minute. We're going to build more retinue. That's what we were going to do. That's probably why we lost that ball in the last episode. Is because our troop composition and our retinue itself isn't very good. We're going to build more light skirmish retinue. We're going to ship our main troops over to here. And they can actually just walk. Group you up. And head to the capital of Lombardy, which is now the capital of an empire. We need a new commander. That guy. And that's good, because now we can offer vassalization to dukes, and they're quite likely to accept. Stop being at war with everyone. Why must you all be at war? You know, East Francia, you wouldn't accept vassalization because you're a king. Um, you may, mainly because of power, but not my de jure liege, which is always going to be hard. Foreign culture, opinions, nice. I may be able to do it. How much would a gift cost? 112. How much would it increase by? Just 42, that's not that great. We probably couldn't vassalize you then. Over you. Or just a count. Distant realm. That's a no. Uh, anyone else? Just little independent people. Like, this guy's gonna say, I am a king. That's exactly those words. I am a king. 
doesn't want to because of that. What about my wife? Where's my wife? She's over here. She's part of the Byzantines. I forgot about that. Um, this Khan of Croatia wouldn't. She's styling herself as a Basilla. Basilissa. Is it Basilissa or Basilla? It should be Basilissa. Basilissa. Like Basilius. Basilissa. That sounds weird. That can't be how that's pronounced. Okay, this guy. He only has 1,800 troops, so we could probably kill him pretty handily, but I just don't want people ganging up on me at this point. I prefer to go to war as this character if I do go to war again. Only for things I know I can easily win. Um, without having to raise like the entire levy of the realm. Right, you're doing that job. Let's unappoint you as commander then. Uh, have I already? Yes, I've only I've already unappointed you. It apparently automatically does that once they become a council member. But you can still appoint them, which is strange. High Chiefess of Moravia. And everything is going well. Yes, so we're in a bit of a slow spot at the moment we have my son who just became a graminence which is very very nice he can go marry the duchess of Al alemania where is that it is everywhere apparently oh it's this one but does she own all of that she does directly own all of that that's crazy. She is all of East Trankia, and she's about to marry one of my sons. She's about to be betrothed to one of my sons. Yes, you. Not matrilineal. Good. So that's going to go through. We have another daughter. And I think we need to set our sights on a tougher opponent for our next character. Our next character, of course, going to be my son here, Count Vacho of Corinthos. who has two daughters so far. 18 Marshal, 27 Diplomacy, a very good character. Uh, I don't know who that is. That is Liege. Uh, you. I need you to inherit that first. Yes, I need you to inherit that first. I need to hope that the Byzantines don't have... Is there any way to check laws? Because I want to be able to check if they have allow like things to leave their realm. Because if not, then I can't inherit this kingdom. Which would be a problem. Can we kill our wife? No. No one would join that plot. We may be able to fight the Byzantines one on one. Uh, this option, yes, I'm not giving you any troops. Go to the Basilius. Assassinate. He is married to my daughter. Which would make him want to have... We have a non-aggression pact. He likes me a little bit, not much. How much gift would be too much, 789 gold. Well, I may break the aggression pact and go to war with him here. He has 36,000 troops. How? You have 26,000 from vassals. Well, if he has something that breaks up his realm for whatever reason, then we will go to war for that. Oh, yes, that's why I marry my wife, because she has a claim on the Byzantines. I keep forgetting that. I keep th thinking that I married her so that she would give her title to my son. But she, that's not apparently going to happen. Okay, so she's lost the trait in hiding. Can we kill her now? No. That's fine. Okay. Uh, special titles grantable. Let's do... 
Duke of Austria can become a commander, and then the Duke of Tripoli. Tripolitania can become a commander and that is where we are going to end episode 45 guys I hope you've enjoyed it. if you have make sure to leave a like hit subscribe as well if you didn't tell me down in the comments why you didn't in this episode we managed to finally form an empire the empire of Italy if you have any ideas for names to change the empire to tell me in the comments as well and from me Corvus thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye